So I'm going to do a quick video about how to make pasta. Um, Pascetti pasta, you know, for like pascetti mayonnaise, the made in Italy pasta. So I would pre-broil the water or use a kettle, which is really quick to do. So it's um it's faster way. I find it's faster. Pour the kettle um hot kettle water in, and it's already pre-broiled. You have the cooker on, so that's the first step. Pour a little bit of salt in. Also a little bit of oil. Vegetable oil or sunflower oil, okay. The whole point of that is to stop the pasta from well, that's supposed to stop the pasta from sticking. So I'm gonna put a whole pack of this in. It is only 20 like 2p or something from Tesco's. Usually I used to just cook like half of it, but I find if I put the whole thing in, right? Then you can either break it in half then put it in. That's what I usually do. Right? Or you get the whole thing and put it in. And then once it starts to melt, you can just um, get a fork and um, sprinkle it around. I use a whole pack, so I'll make enough for today. And also what's left, I put in the fridge and make another day. So it's starting to melt, so you just will sit about. This is why I like to break it in half. But you can do that if you want like long biscotti, then you can just do that. When it goes a bit softer, you'll be able to do it again. But the oil make obviously the pasta won't stick as much. See, so it's all in there. It won't be sticking out as much once it's um starting to like go soft basically you cook this for about 9 to 12 minutes it takes to cook you don't want to overcook it and you don't want to undercook it so you always taste it before you cook when it's about ready it's only been on for just over a minute now maybe two minutes Do mix it now and again. See, it's not sticking to each other. We've got the oil in it, as you can see. The pasta is ready. Now is put all this into this when you've got it over the sink. That in there like this. Let it just drain out. And it's back on the saucepan. Right here, you can shake it, but I just want to make sure all the water goes out of it. Oh, that's not so bad, is it? That's ready and it's tasty. So here we got the biscotti. Quite a lot of it and you can see it doesn't really stick to each other because you use the oil. If you use the oil sometimes it's like loads of it is really sticky together if you don't use oil. Okay. Oh. It's more than enough for one person shall I say. add a bit more to it <laughs> so that's how you make biscotti thank you for watching bye for now